Today, I'm gonna to talk about five ways to make PowerPoint less annoying. Now, if you've spent any amount of time in PowerPoint, you know how annoying it can be, especially when PowerPoint tries to help you. It's usually just getting in your way and slowing things down. And today I'm gonna to go over five ways that you can make PowerPoint work better for you and ultimately just make it less annoying. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is opening up a PowerPoint. Now let's open up PowerPoint and take a look at, uh, here's the first thing that really drives me crazy. Whenever I open up a PowerPoint, I just wanna start on a blank PowerPoint. I never wanna use any of the templates that PowerPoint has for me. I don't need to use any of the pre-built stuff that PowerPoint wants to give me. I just need a blank presentation template. Let's talk about how to do that. From this home screen, this splash screen that it gives you, come down here all the way to options. And in the options, you can scroll down on this general tab. And the last item is show the start screen when the application starts. Click on that, hit okay. And then the next time that you open up PowerPoint, it's gonna kick you right into a blank presentation. So you're ready to go. That for me is just amazing because I hate that splash screen. I never, I never, I just never use it. It's never that useful to me. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the PowerPoint designer. Now here's a situation where let's say you're working in a PowerPoint and you're inserting a photograph. Let's find one here on this computer and let's insert it. So we've got a photograph inserted into PowerPoint and then all of a sudden a new window pane opens up and it's the design tips or what is it called? Design ideas pane, and it tries to give you some graphic design and layout options. I never need that. And a lot of times when I'm working in PowerPoint, I've got either the format pane or I've got the animations pane open. And so then have another one open up even further, just reduces the amount of real estate that I have to work with. So I find this terribly annoying. Here's how you could turn it off. Go back to this file menu and in the options, we're also gonna stay in this general area. Up here, there is something called PowerPoint Designer. Just click it and turn it off. And the next time you insert a photograph, let's start a, a new slide here and we'll insert another photo. And this time, PowerPoint isn't gonna do anything. It's just gonna let me put the picture on the slide just like I wanted to. All right, the next thing is something that you may or may not find annoying. So sometimes if you hover over something, you'll get a little description of what that button is. And you can even get sometimes if there's a keyboard shortcut available, something that's there for that. Let's go to the file menu again and go to the options. And here there's a drop down for a screen tip style. You can either select don't show any screen tips. You could collect don't show feature descriptions. In other words, you just show the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, and one is just show the feature description in the screen tips. And that's what the default is. So you can tinker with that and adjust it to how you work and your level of comfort with PowerPoint. Now, the fourth thing that I'm talking about is uh, you can change how often PowerPoint auto saves. Now for me, I am a creature of habit and I just instinctively, anytime my hands kind of pause when I'm using PowerPoint, I'll hit the control S button and just save really quick. But uh, if you're not like that and you're working for a long period of time and suddenly your computer crashes or the program crashes or the battery dies and everything falls asleep and you lose your work, you wanna be able to recover hopefully from a relatively recent auto save point. And you can change how frequently that happens in the file menu once again. This time we're going to a file and options and we have to go to the save menu this time. And down here there's a save auto recover information and you can configure that to how frequent you need. So how bad would it be if all of a sudden your computer just crashed right now? Would you be willing to go back and redo 10 minutes of work or do you need it to be every one minute of work? Now it can get a little bit intrusive in terms of if it's saving every one minute every minute it's gonna pause and stop you from working for just a little bit. So it can do that auto recover save information. But if you have a system that crashes frequently or if you have a tendency of just losing your work frequently, you might wanna adjust that down to a much lower number. The last tip, tip number five, something you can change in PowerPoint to make it less annoying, is how many undos you get. So now I can go back and I've done a couple of things on this PowerPoint. I can undo a couple of layers back I undid inserting the image on slide two. I undid creating slide two. I undid cre inserting the image on slide one. That's three undos. 
If you come to the file menu one last time, go to the options, and in the advanced menu, you can change the maximum number of undos. The default is 20 undos. That's quite a bit of undos. If you want to go back even further, let's say you have someone that likes to have you do some work and then says, you know what, let's go back and do it the other way. You can hit undo a whole bunch more times. I don't know what the maximum number is that it'll take, but 20 is usually plenty for me, but depending on your workflow, you might need more or you might need less than that. I think if you use less than that, things might move a little bit faster. So if you have a system that's running really lean in terms of system resources, maybe you lower that number down. But I think for the most part, most people will want 20 or even more. So that's all I have for today's video. Let me know if those tips are useful to you or if you have an additional tip that didn't make my list that's been really helpful for you. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.